Welcome to All Learners Learning Every Day. I'm Rhonda Bondi. In this video, we will learn about task analysis as a planning tool to help us manage rigor in instruction, ensuring that all learners receive a curriculum that is clear, accessible, rigorous, and relevant. By the end of this video, you will be able to define task analysis, give examples of task analysis for a curriculum task or a thinking process for your subject area. Know why a teacher would choose to teach a complex task using forward or backward chaining or total task presentation and recognize how task analysis may help to plan the tasks of daily instructional routine. Let's begin with the definition of rigor. Rigor equals effort plus complexity. Effort is the energy needed for sustained focus attention and complexity is the parts times the possibilities or the number of parts times the number of ways the parts can fit together. So task analysis will help us measure the rigor of our instruction by thinking about the pieces, the ways the pieces fit together, and the amount of effort will be required by each student. Task analysis is the process of breaking down a behavior into a series of small steps. For learners, task analysis increases independence because learners can see their progress as each part of the large task is mastered. For teachers, task analysis identifies the necessary prerequisite skills for completing a larger task and often helps to find the exact place in a thinking process where student misunderstanding may occur. Task analysis is an effective way to plan instruction when you are teaching skills that have several steps performed in a certain order, such as telling time. The series of actions taught are called chained behaviors because learners are required to perform a chain of actions in a sequence to complete the task. For example, tying shoes requires a chain of actions. Or learning the process for long division as well as larger, more complex tasks, such as writing an effective conclusion. A complex task, um, such as here, we have the analysis of whether a thesis statement has been written correctly and completely, can be broken down into phases. Then the phases can be taught as smaller sections of a larger task, helping students to master the larger task piece by piece. The practice of task analysis can be used to effectively plan for the teaching of academics, life skills, and vocational skills. Task analysis can be used for both curriculum tasks as well as thinking processes, such as deciding uh, whether or not to stay for homework help, or answering a question such as, is this shape a rhombus? Task analysis can be used with children and youth across the autism spectrum as well. After the steps have been identified through task analysis, the teacher then determines how to teach each step. There are three ways to teach the steps, forward chaining, backward chaining, and total task presentation. In forward chaining, the learner learns each step in, this, in the correct sequence from beginning to end and doesn't pass on to the next step until the previous step has been mastered. Progressing through swimming lessons is a good example of forward chaining. The learner must master breathing, kicking, and arm strokes before moving on to the more uh, complex strokes. We see forward chaining often in math courses. Task analysis helps learners and teachers identify when a missing prerequisite skill is causing problems for learners when they try to complete a more complex task. Backward chaining may be used when the learner will benefit from completing the whole task quickly. Here is a writing task where the teacher begins by asking the students to analyze an already completed essay. Then she works backwards, encouraging the students to add sentences to complete the essay. Finally, ending with students beginning an essay with a graphic organizer and proceeding through the complete writing process to complete a whole essay. Total task presentation happens when a teacher models and then coaches a student through an entire task. This is helpful for students to get a feel for the flow of completing a task and remembering all of the, all of the steps. Games, science experiments, conversations, and computer applications are things often taught through total task presentation. A quick review. 
Task analysis is simply breaking down a large task into a series of manageable parts. Task analysis helps teachers determine the most efficient instruction considering teaching each step going forward, backward, or teaching the total task at one time. Task analysis may help learners to self-monitor action to complete complex academic tasks or to monitor their thinking process. Take a moment to consider how task analysis can help you fuel your daily instruction. Consider group learning, objectives for an assessment, self-regulation, perhaps a structured student choice, and how task analysis will specifically help you design specialized instruction to close gaps in achievement among learners. Visit the All Ed website for more examples and to share your stories from the classroom.